Hi everyone, Tori here today with a scrapbooking process video. I'm back! Um, I know it's been a really long time since I've done a lot of process videos and I'm so sorry. I've been so crazy busy at work, like working 12 hour days, like all the time. And I was in Kauai and <laughs> it's just been crazy. So I finally found some time to film a bunch of process videos and edit them. So I'm hoping that I can get back onto my regular schedule of like three videos a week. Um, so you can look forward to that. Hopefully, if I don't get sick, which you can kind of hear in my voice, I can, I can feel it. I can feel a cold coming on. So just pray that that doesn't happen so that I can keep making process videos. Um, I mean, I love making process videos and I love creating. I wish I could do that like solely as my job. The problem is like it doesn't pay the bills, so I have to work and um, sometimes that gets in the way. And because I don't really make any money off of these videos, I mean, I, I know I have advertisements before, but there's I, I make so little money on that that it's not even like worth having it there. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I, I don't mean to complain, I'm just saying like I have to work. <laughs> so, and if work is crazy, that means like I have less time for scrapbooking. Yeah. Anywho, back to the layout. Um, I am scrapbooking these two photos today, which you can see there. And um, just to give you a little idea of what's the picture, this is a picture of Lily, who's one of my biggest fans. She watches my YouTube videos, and I've scrapbooked about her before. Um, a little while ago, her mom asked if I wanted to come over and do like a, a craft project with them, which I was like, uh, yeah. So we were making these like paper wreaths using old magazine paper and folding them in half to make kind of this really pretty wreath, which you can see in a second. It's Lily's holding it up. And I thought, how am I going to scrapbook this? And I thought it would be fun to do something similar um, on the page. So take pieces of paper and fold them in half and make kind of like a layered effect. So I am using my Felicity Jane kit, but I'm also using this really pretty paper, which comes from pa the Paige Evan Pink Paisley collection. And it had all these squares. So what I did was I cut them out um, and then I folded them in half, glued them down, and then kind of layered them on top of each other there on the left. And now I'm just trying to figure out what to do with the rest of the layout. So I had a little bit of that paper left, and on the back it had this green. Look at me, using green. Um, but I figured it worked because the page was so colorful, so I wanted to kind of go with that. And there was green in some of the squares, so it worked well for that. So I just gave that a little frame. And now I'm just grabbing out some of the other papers from... Um, the next stop kit, I think it's called. Mm, I want to say it's called the next stop kit. Um, so originally my design idea was to do kind of like an L-shaped design, have those layered papers along the left-hand side, and then kind of create an L along the other side. Um, but as I go, I just really am not happy with it. So I think sometimes we have to give ourselves freedom to like change up what our original design idea was um, because if it's not looking how you want it to look like you just need to give yourself some freedom. So one of the things that I was really struggling with was the fact that those layered papers I did not put down straight. I tried my best but they kind of are a little wonky so the papers weren't meeting or butting right up against that so I need to come up with a solution for how I'm going to fix that. And I'll show you how I do that as well. So just to add a little extra something to my layers, I grabbed out a doily as well for my stash. Um, and I'm just going to mix that in here. So this is where I'm kind of figuring out a different idea. I thought, what if I just switch this? So sometimes that helps. If you are really struggling with a design idea, just flip it on its head. Flip it 90 degrees. Flip it like just one time to see if it works better and I liked it better like this it just felt like it was more balanced so I need to fix a couple things to make it work but I I think the layout looks better like this than it did before so I'm gonna keep it like that so I decided to tear the paper I just thought it would give some kind of fun layering something fun to the layers so that's what I'm doing now 
And then to keep it more balanced, I decided to add that red stripe paper to the other side as well. I just thought it would balance the two sides, like the left and the right. So here's how I'm going to fix that fact that I'm not straight. Um, I took a branding strip and glued it down on top of that. And then I'm also going to add some washi tape. So this white on white washi tape came from Felicity Chain. And I'm just tearing it down the middle, which I learned that from, um, who did I learn that from? Missy Whitten always tears her washi tape. And now it's kind of like an addiction of mine, tearing my washi tape. So I just kind of cut it in half and put half of it. And because it's washi tape, you can kind of like mold it to where you want it to go. And it kind of covers up the fact that I'm not straight. And then the other piece I decided to just add at the top so that there was kind of like so your eye wouldn't like leave the page. It kind of, I don't know, it kind of gives a frame to what you're doing here. And that blue paper and that red paper are actually the same paper. It's just the front and the back, which works well because then I'm using up scraps kind of as I'm going. On that note, this layout totally could be done with scraps. If you are a member of my Scrap Your Scraps, um, Facebook page, or if you really like my Scrap Your Scraps videos, I would challenge you to do this like similar layout design but with scraps like those squares totally could have been done with scrap paper um i love the page evans collection so I, I got a couple of papers from my local scrapbooking store i finally was able to find some so i definitely wanted to use it and i felt like it matched so well with this felicity jane kit that that's why i used it did you guys hear that knocking? That was totally my dad knocking on the door to tell me that there's somebody coming to install the dishwasher. <laughs> and he knocked funny. Sorry, I, I thought I'd leave it in there. I thought it was cute. Anyways, back to the layout. I decided to add a little more washi tape. This is this really pretty pink floral washi tape I found at a local craft and supply store in Toronto. Oh my goodness, that so store is amazing. It's such a cool store. Um, I can't even remember what it's called now, which is sad. But if you're from Toronto and you want to know, or if you're visiting Toronto and you want to know, let me know and I'll look it up. <laughs> so um, I am just going through the embellishments to see what I wanted to add. I had this one wooden banner, um, wood veneer banner, and it said we made it. And I think it has to do with transportation. But I figured it also worked for like a creating, crafting kind of layout. And then I had this green um, bow, which I got from the Felicity Jane shop a long time ago. It, there was a green one and a pink one that came together. So I decided it matched, so I added it there. And I thought, thought that, that I could kind of create a, embellishments going in a diagonal from the bottom left-hand corner up to the top right-hand corner. Also, you may have noticed that when I was using my washi tape, I accidentally put it down on the paper, and when I picked it up, it left like a white mark um, up there where I put those wood veneer asterisks, so I needed to come up with a solution to cover it up, so I figured I could use those asterisks, so there's three of them, so I could sprinkle two of them at the top and then one further down. I don't know. I, it's a solution, I guess. Um, and then I also grabbed out a, a flare, one of the Felicity Jane ones. And I decided to make my title Create. Um, I'm really bad at titles, if you've ever noticed. I hate coming up with titles. But I feel like Create works for, for a layout where we were making things. So I stuck that down. Um, and now I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with those embellishments, like those wood veneer... Um, asterisks and I'm just gonna smatter them around I don't know what the right word for that is oh my goodness guys it's nine in the morning on a Saturday and I have to work in a few hours yeah I like I've already worked so many hours this week but I have a training today so I have to work again and I am so tired so I don't know if I'm making sense so <laughs> sorry if I, I if I don't make sense okay I cannot find my roller date stamp anywhere I looked everywhere, so then I ended up having to write the date, which is so not me. I usually just use the same roller date stamp all the time and stamp it in black, but this is just going to have to work. Um, I felt like those asterisks looked a little bit kind of out in space, like they didn't make sense. 
So I thought maybe if I add some extra embellishment, some other enamel dots, a couple pearls or something, that it might help them look a little bit more purposeful. Like, like I purposely had kind of a scattering of embellishments and enamel dots. And I think it helps a lot. And one of the things I've realized is if it if if it doesn't look right, you might just need a couple more to take it up a notch. So that's what I did. Um, I'm sorry I'm a little off screen here, but you'll see it in the end. And in order to do my journaling, I decided to just do my journaling right underneath those squares. And I just journaled about how Lily's mom, Nora, asked me to come over. So I did that. And I'm going to pull it down so you guys can see. Um, I felt like it just needed a little bit more. So I am going to grab out some black Heidi Swap Color Shine. And I'm just going to do a little bit of misting kind of in the area of my embellishments. And that will be it for this layout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. What do you think? Um, I'd love to hear from you. Have a lovely day. Bye.